Hello, everybody, and welcome to the UT Times. I'm Haley Jackson here with Riley Peterson, Hayden Small, and Caroline Turner. And today we're talking about everything that's going on with quarantine and introducing a little bit about ourselves since this is the first time we've ever done a podcast. And I'm super excited. Yes, I'm also really excited for this opportunity. I think we'll all learn a lot about each other. I'm Haley Jackson. I'm 16 years old and I go to Ashley High School. I've been going to UG since I was in the sixth grade and I like cats. Hey everyone, I'm Riley and I'm currently a sophomore at Wilmington Early College High School pursuing my associate's degree in the arts. I have been in UG since February when I joined small group and have loved it ever since. And something interesting about me is that I was adopted at birth from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm Caroline. I am 16. I'm a sophomore at Topsail High School. Um, I've been to UG ever since I was in eighth grade. And something interesting about me, I live 45 minutes away from Life Point, but I still go to church. So Hi, I'm Hayden Small. I, I'm 15 years old. I'm homeschooled. I've been going to UG ever since I was in sixth grade, and I dye my hair a lot. And I've been every color of the rainbow. So the first thing I wanted to touch on was how we're keeping busy during quarantine. So I wanted to know what you all are doing. I've been starting embroidering things like clothes and I don't know, different kinds of things. And also I've been painting a lot, but the majority of my time has been spent binge watching TV shows. So Caroline, how are you keeping busy during quarantine? Um, like Hayden, I've been painting a lot and I like to like hand letter stuff, like the cool like cursive stuff. Um, and a lot of watching my sister as well. That's been happening a lot. But yeah, a lot of just school and watching TV, not a whole lot. <laughs> What about you, Haley? Um, during this quarantine, I've been going to work a lot. I work at Jersey Mike's in Carolina Beach, if you know where that is. And um, I've just been making TikToks, too. That's pretty much it. I don't really do much schoolwork anymore. <laughs> Relatable. Yeah, same. yeah, I miss, like, going to I church a school. lot. I miss church a lot too. Yeah, every Sunday, like I love the um, home service because you know you're still worshiping God, but I just miss being with all the people with the same energy and like the same mindset. I can't. Um, I keep thinking about what it's gonna be like when we go back. Yeah, like, what's oh it gonna be goodness. like? Um, so weird. It's gonna like, be. Amazing. I haven't been to church. I had like a lot of family stuff going on. I haven't been to church in a like in person in a while. And so, like, I don't think I've seen Carson in, like, three months. <laughs> I haven't seen, like, Haley or Jack and, or, like, anyone in so long. Uh, I was thinking about that the other day because Carson was in my memories. I was like, oh, my gosh. I don't think I've seen Carson since, like, Christmas. I know. I know. Yeah. I really, I have hardly been to church this year because I just have been sick a lot. <laughs> yeah, I started going to Life Point in July because I used to go to Port City and it was way too big. So I started going in July because my dad, you know, he works the traffic. So that's, I've like kind of found my home. That's him who does that? Yeah, that's my dad. Shout out to yeah. Mr. Peterson and his He's dog. Great. The last thing that we went to, like that I went to a church was the last United Night. And then we thought we were going back and, you know, we never got to go back. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we didn't know it was our last time like all together, which was really unfortunate. Really? Yes. Yeah, that was so fun though. It's it's I've only been to two United Nights because I started in February, but both of them have been so impactful. My first one was um, 2018 Christmas, which was the last time we really got to do a real powder fight because it wasn't raining. <laughs> and we were all just standing there, and powder just started like getting thrown, and no one knew what was happening because someone thought they heard a whistle, and so someone just started throwing crap at people, oh and we were all just sitting there like, "What is going on?" I was. So I confused, remember that one. Good I remember that one. I met Sam and Haley that day. That I was think. like yeah. a really fun one. Yeah. That's whenever Hampstead had a house party. And so we brought like 25 kids on a 16 passenger van like every month. And it was insane. And having to drive back to Hampstead, which is like a 45, 50 minute ride sometimes in a van with 
five people, like five extra people while we're all in trash bags because it was a rental and we couldn't get powder on it. That was an interesting experience. <laughs> <laughs> I um I remember my first United Night was UG conference in 2015. And I was like a cringy little sixth grader and I was so excited. And I remember I was wearing like Claire sunglasses <laughs> and like, like gross high tops and like uh it was fun though. I remember it was when Pastor Brad was still there and we had like social club was like not even a like big worship band yet and now they're like huge. Were they there? So cool. They were there. What? Oh, they so were cool. so good. That's cool. Yeah, I remember my sister went to that one. Yeah. Yeah, they um performed at Sadie Roberts and Emily. That's crazy. crazy. I went to a Skillet concert once. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Skillet is like an OG like Caleb. Oh my gosh, like, really? my mom I went. Really Caleb. <laughs> my mom loves it. I know. <laughs> my mom's like. Okay, love. Nine, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, positive. <laughs> Amy. Like, really look what they you. look like, and then you're like, I don't think Skip and Amy would look like that. No. <laughs> the, the or like whenever Scott and Kelly show yes. us a thing, <laughs> and Scott's like bald. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought you would be bald. I had like an image of them in my head of what I thought they would look like, and they didn't look like it. <laughs> It Me so too. Mad. I no. used to do that when I was little. I would like make lives for them, <laughs> like, <laughs> like what I think their house would look like. <laughs> <laughs> no, the day that my mom showed me a picture of like Scott and Kelly, and I was like, "Wait, Scott's bald!" Like all my dreams were oh, crushed. No. I remember whenever it was Skit, it was like Skip Amy. Yes. yes. <laughs> something i've been thinking about a lot during quarantine is how do you think your relationship with god will be after quarantine like how do you plan to strengthen your faith being at church <laughs> having like community and fellowship again is something i miss yes, so definitely. much i feel like it helps me a lot like i'm a lot better about it whenever i'm able to be around people who like encourage mm-hmm. me so being separated from that is kind of hard yeah sometimes. most definitely i miss having small groups in real life yes oh my yeah. gosh because I feel like it's a lot, like, better to, like, I'm definitely someone who needs to be held accountable for things. Because, like, otherwise I just won't do it. And so, and we're, like, it's harder with this quarantine and not being able to, like, go places, you know, to actually see my leaders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I miss Kelly. Kelly. I miss her hugs. Like, <laughs> I've I've known Kelly since I was like five because she was my sister's therapist when she was little, and so like whenever she started doing UG, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> Miss Kelly is the MVP. Really? She's an angel. That's facts. Whenever she broke her arm, I was so I know. sad. That was, <laughs> that was. She's gonna be like, oh, you guys are talking. No, about okay, me. wait. So one time I got in a car wreck on the way to her house. Oh yeah. And <laughs> riding us there. Well, it was just me and Angel and um, Miss Kelly. Like, no one and showed I up. Like, I was like, um, I'm going to be a little late. I got in a car wreck. And she, started, <laughs> she was calling me because my mom was, like, in the hospital after surgery. Because my mom obviously couldn't be there. She was in the hospital. <laughs> and um, she was like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I was like, Kelly, stop. I was like, I'm going to get in the car. Am I allowed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was like, I'm going to come <laughs> Wait, were you, you okay? I, I never heard about that. <laughs> I know because y'all got me the either. Case, though. It was something else. <laughs> I didn't want to tell anybody. <laughs> I didn't want to tell anybody because I didn't want them to think I was. <laughs> well, now you're telling a whole lot of people. <laughs> yeah. now. Yo, Angel works at Mattermore. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like cut the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Any insurance companies also think I didn't do that. Like the um, <laughs> the Bernie Sanders meme, the one that's like the cut the camera. <laughs> okay, <we're gonna... laughs> Riley, leave this part in. What? Leave this part in. Okay. okay. <laughs> cut the camera. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Back to the question. <laughs> um. During this quarantine, uh, we launched UGTV, 
And I think that personally really helped me connect with God in a way that I never thought it could. Like, I love creating strange videos and, like, TikToks and (laughs) this podcast. I love creating stuff. And so creating my own show was fun for me and it really helped me draw closer to him like writing down these cool ideas and thinking about it like 24 mm-hmm. 7 it's it's so much fun for me and, and i never thought it could be like that and your show was awesome yeah, yeah i, was I dying. love your show it's hilarious <laughs> thank oh you <laughs> when that <laughs> and it's like it's like short and sweet so i'm not like oh, this is gonna end it's just like so cute and i don't yes, want it to it. end <laughs> whenever that emergency alert part <laughs> came on <laughs> I was crying. Uh, yeah. It was so funny. Oh, my dog is going a little crazy. <laughs> little um, Demi, Demi <laughs> girl. <laughs> Demi girl. Yeah, I love that show. It's literally like I feel like everyone's putting out really good content. So very excited because and it's all so different. Yeah, I think it'll continue even after the quarantine, mm-hmm. which I hope. Um, I hope so. Because definitely, like, I find myself being bored, and. Like, I've definitely had more time to spend with God. Like, it used to kind of feel like a chore in a way where I would have to, like, cut out Mm -hmm. time of my day. But definitely, like, I've been spending way more time, like, going deeper into the scripture, which I really love. Like, that's something I've always been passionate about. But I, like, actually had time to, like, decipher what it means and to understand it more. Yeah. Boom. Mic drop. (laughs) (laughs) The first time I went to UG... (laughs) I was sitting with Selena and the kid in front of us was playing Clash of Clans the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Jake so I much. I so much. Oh my gosh. He joined me at Emma's live last week. I was so dead. He came on. <laughs> That's, he's like my favorite person ever. He almost sent his dog oh after me. Remember whenever he was like, I'm gonna name it Carl, but then he told Haley he was gonna be Carol, but he didn't know how to spell it. <laughs> I mean, I'm flattered, but <laughs> So, what are you guys planning to do after this quarantine's over? Go to church. I'm excited. <laughs> I just want to be more intentional with my time because, like, this has shown me that you don't really, like, know whenever you're not going to be able to do certain stuff anymore. And so to, like, be able to actually save her stuff because, like, we don't get to have our spring show anymore at school and I don't get to go to church and I don't really get to see my friends, like, stuff like that. You gotta, like, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I definitely agree. Yeah. I think God was trying to tell us something that we're, like, kind of getting way too into the worldly things. For sure. And I've definitely been praying about, like, not to get caught up in the worldly things because, you know, like Miss Kelly said last night, God didn't make the world perfect because we're supposed to be around the worldly things but not be engaging in them. Exactly, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Mike. I was just gonna say, I want to see my friends. The last time I have seen anybody that wasn't family was March 15th. So that's here. a very... Oh, I have no. hardly left the house since March 15th. It is May 7th. That's a long time. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, that's a long time. I've only seen like four people. Yeah, it's just like my dad's an essential worker. So, like, he goes out. But my mom and I just find ourselves driving around a lot. We're about to go out and drive. We usually don't go out of the car because we're very scared about the virus. You know, just having mm-hmm. our faith in it. Yeah. My mom is, like, um, the, like, assistant director at the North, the New Hanover County Health Department. So she's having to, like, she's the one, like, planning, like, the drive through testing. And she has to stand out there while all the people are getting testing and, like, scheduling it and getting calls from people who don't know what to do oh, wow. and stuff like that. Like, all the time like even on like one day she worked nine days in a row for like oh 11 oh hours God. like and then she, like they started like they have to like take off a certain amount of time but like even like when she's at home she's still on the computer because they have to be working like to figure out what they're gonna do yeah. next. like it's crazy. shout out to mrs carol's mom yes definitely yeah. honestly Our shout love. out to all essential workers because mm-hmm. They're putting yeah. a lot at risk every it's day. Scary. Haley, aren't you a essential worker? Yes, ma'am. Okay, next we're going to talk about things that we are passionate about. Hayden, would you like to start us off? Sure. So, something that I'm really passionate about is just kind of, um, like, empowering others and, I don't know, being, like, a women's rights person and also, like, a mental health advocate. And 
I think that a lot of people go through things by themselves that they could have a friend for. So I want to be a friend. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. you. Beautiful. <laughs> Mic drop. Mm. Um, yeah, I love um, learning about women's rights and the history of it. Like, um, I think it's so interesting that all these women fought for where we are now. I know, it's so cool. Um, something I'm definitely passionate about is being an adoption advocate since I'm adopted. So I use my platform through pageantry to raise money for the gift of adoption fund, which is a fund for families who are looking to adopt but cannot afford it. So that's definitely something my family went through was um, adopting in the States because it's really expensive. It can be up to like $60,000 for just one child and then all the other expenses on top of it. So I'm like raising a child. It's insane, yeah. Gift of Adoption Fund is located where I was born, so it's something I hold close to my heart. That's really yeah. cool. That mm-hmm. is cool. Um, one thing that I'm really passionate about is body positivity. I think that in this world, we really worship um, people who have an ideal body of being smaller and having abs and just looking like, I don't really know how to describe it, like looking perfect. But um, something I realized actually recently is that there's no like perfect person out there. And no matter how much we want someone's body, it's not going to happen for us because God created us in his image and the way we are is beautiful. And why would you want to change something that is already perfect in his eyes? And I know it's hard like to um, see that in ourselves because we look at ourselves all the time, but other people see it in you and I just think that we should always love ourselves because we were created beautifully yeah yes. I agree that's beautiful my we God. spoke about stuff like that on group the other night and one thing we said was that like it's on my mirror I have a cricket so I can cut out like stickers and stuff and I always put things like on my mirror like affirmation and one of them is flawed and sold worthy so yeah. that one's one of my favorites and actually one of our co-leaders angel made a wallpaper for that shout out to angel and her amazing talent <laughs> with her digital illustrations it was beautiful so definitely finding you know affirmations in the scripture is beautiful i love hearing that yeah. everybody is beautiful Most and definitely. it's something that's interesting is like everybody has insecurities no matter what you what weight you are or what you look like everybody is still insecure about different things and so it's like you're never really going to be completely content so you might as well just love the skin you're in Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Wonderful. Love Caroline. That. Oh, goodness. What am I passionate about? I stage manage. I'm not a public speaker. I don't like acting. Um, But I stage manage. And that's a lot of fun. I really enjoy that. I was, I cried a lot whenever they were like, yeah, you're not going back to school because this past weekend was supposed to be our um, our show. So um, that was kind of sad. But me and all my stage man- all my stage managing friends, like me and three of my friends that stage manage, we like hung out in the school parking lot because they left the um the lights on for us in the auditorium on opening night which was really sweet and <laughs> stuff like that and I really enjoy photography that's what I want to like do with my life but also like if we're if we're gonna get deep like I think like advocacy for like special needs people is something that I really like hold close to my heart like my little sister is special needs she's 14 and she's non-verbal and she has um, scoliosis and she's actually getting spinal fusion surgery this summer so she's getting like permanent metal rods put in her back which is really scary we went through it a few years ago but right now hers are magnetic so she actually grows four millimeters every four months which is kind of cool um but stuff like that just because i see like i see it from a different like angle i guess because people make jokes and they're like you're this you're that but people don't realize that like retarded isn't a word that should be used to demean people stuff like that and like whenever i hear stuff like that it just frustrates me a lot because people are like mentally retarded but that's not something that's not their fault like you shouldn't put people down as that like a joke like haha like that's just not it's not cool stuff like that like really grinding yeah yeah it doesn't make you any better as a person Mm -hmm. yeah i wanna Especially, like, speaking up for people who, like, physically cannot speak up for themselves. Yes. I love that. Yeah, I want to be an occupational therapist. 
so yeah but, like miss kelly was like one of mary's first therapists i can't remember if she was a speech or physical therapist honestly but like people like that like they change lives like seriously yes most yeah. definitely yeah i spent my summers working with theater for all which is a nonprofit where we put on shows with people who have special needs so that was my first time working with people who had special needs and that was definitely an eye-opening experience and made me realize that I need to work more doing some more stuff in the community with people who may need it more than others. Yeah, like yeah. my sister and then my cousin has Down syndrome and he has a full-time job. Like there's nothing like so different about him that he can't live like other people and like I don't know, people just don't realize that they're people too. Like, they might yeah. look different than you, they mm-hmm. might act different than you, but they're still, like, who they're supposed to be. I can't imagine my life without Mary. Like, I hear her making noises downstairs. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. she's so sweet. She, she is. is. She's adorable. I also love old people. <laughs> I, a, fun, a fun little thing about me is I used to be in a puppet ministry. I would perform puppet shows like they were a real deal at, um, I love that I would go to different nursing homes and oh, I know I have a little ornament of me doing it <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. I miss it we're back to when the homeschoolers used to put on plays in the um, auditorium at church <laughs> we were walking yeah. around while they were having their rehearsal they still do it yeah. they're so good though yeah I remember I know we were there and they were like doing a rehearsal and we got yelled at because we were looking at the costumes. Yes, like Peter Pan or something. I was supposed to be in that. I was until tech week. <laughs> and then I was in the hospital. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so thank you guys for listening to us ramble about random things for like a few minutes. Um, This was a lot of fun and we'll be back next week with our next episode. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>